Hey there, I'm Pewter, product lead at MailTrap. In this video, I'll show you how to get organized by creating and using MailTrap email categories. Let's start with the basics. MailTrap email categories provide the ability to sort emails into different groups. Some category examples might look like this. Welcome email, invoice email, password reset, setup instructions, and so on. By assigning categories to emails, you can analyze the key email metrics for each context. You can also track and manage the performance of different email types with charts and timeline views. You can save templates as categories and access their analytics. And last but not least, you can view logs for a specific category with detailed email info, event history, HTML version, spam analysis, and more. We have a dedicated tutorial explaining how to navigate the email logs. You can create email categories with code when sending emails via SMTP or API. For templates, categories can be added from the UI, as you'd expect. Let's see what the setup might be for each approach. For SMTP, that golden oldie, you just add a custom header to your email sending script, specifying the category. For example, in PHP, my personal golden oldie, I use the add custom header method to specify the category for PHP Mailer. Then, I send the email, and after a few seconds, the category appears in my dashboard. Magic. Of course, your programming language of choice dictates how exactly you set the header. In Node.js and C-sharp, you'll use the header's property. In Ruby, the header object, and so on. If you're using the MailTrap API, things get even simpler. The API supports the category parameter natively, and our code samples and official SDKs make use of that. You can just grab a code sample, customize the category, and start sending. Let's look at an example in PHP. This time, I use the PHP SDK and simply add the category. Then, I send the emails as usual, and the new category is created. That's even easier than vibe coding. Finally, you can easily save templates as categories from the UI. Go to Templates, click Create New Template, and add the category along with other details. Adding a category is mandatory for templates, so you literally can't go wrong. However, you can always come back later and edit it if you need to. It's flexible like that. And as you send an email with that template, the new category will appear in the dashboard as expected. All right, we set up the categories. Now let's use filters to get the most out of this feature. This involves clicking and selecting. So why don't you practice right now by clicking the subscribe button and turning on notifications? We have a whole playlist demonstrating how to get started with MailTrap, so don't miss out. All right, at the top of the email categories menu, you'll see some filters for domains, streams, mailbox providers, and categories. The domains drop-down list contains all of the domains in your MailTrap account. You can use this filter to see stats for emails sent from specific domains. The streams drop-down menu allows you to choose transactional or bulk streams. Use it to separate transactional email data from promotional or bulk emails. The mailbox providers drop-down menu contains a list of popular providers. You can use it to filter out some of the mailbox providers and see all of the categories that they have been involved in. For example, you can see how a specific category performed among Google Workspace users. The last drop-down list, Categories, contains, you guessed it, all of the categories used with your account. You can, for example, pick a few and see how their stats compare. This is particularly helpful when A-B testing, monitoring performance, or debugging deliverability issues. But that's all for today. Now that you're all set up with email categories, you may want to dive deeper and see how to receive real-time events with webhooks so you can monitor email deliverability and performance. If so, why not check out our dedicated tutorial, or tutorial, on MailTrap webhooks. If you do, I promise I'll do fewer cringe puns. I'll see you there.